Hello, welcome to this class on art history. We will be focusing on a very significant modern art movement in this session, Surrealism. Surrealism was part of a highly significant cultural awakening that happened during 1924. The movement had its beginning in Europe centered in Paris. It started as a grouping of intellectuals with Andre Britton, a writer and a trained psychologist as its leader. It attracted many members of the then existing major art movement Dadaism. Surrealism used visual imagery which was evoked from subconscious to create art sans the intention of logical comprehension. It used to channel unconscious as a means to unleash the most powerful tool of mind, imagination. The movement was deeply influenced by the psychoanalysis concepts of the famous psychologist of the time, Sigmund Freud. Even though it started as a literary movement, surrealism made its impact felt in almost all artistic spheres including literature, painting, sculpture, pop culture and cinema. The term surrealism was first coined by Guillaume Apollinaire, the French poet who used it in program notes for the ballet parade written by Jean Cocteau, Pablo Picasso, Lénie de Mazin and Eric Satie. The most important declaration of the concept, motto and definition of the new movement of surrealism was made through Le Manifeste de Surrealisme, the Manifesto of Surrealism, authored by none other than the founder of the movement, Andre Breton. He defined surrealism as psychic automatism in its pure state by which one proposes to express verbally by means of the written word or in another manner the actual functioning of thought. In this manifesto, he urged artists and writers to seek entry into unconscious mind and get inspired by this untaped realm in creating art. Some of the artists who became members of the surrealist group were Max Ernest, Salvador Dali, Man Ray, Hans Arp, Georges Malkin, Mikhail Laris, Georges Limbo, Antonin Arthur, Raymond Cuny, Andre Mazin, Joan Miru, Marcel Deschamps, Jacobs Provert, and Yes Tanke. We will discuss their contribution and style in detail later. Surreal theory had its deepest influence sprouting from the concepts expounded by the famous psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud. Surrealists believe that the power of Putin of imagination is highly suppressed by conscious mind thanks to a variety of oppressing restrictions implemented by it. Surrealists explored the language of dreams and the process of dream work. They looked inside themselves but they also sought to explore lapses of memory and the repressions of a whole culture. They use many Freudian motives and use Freudian methods of free association in their artwork. Other than Freud, the significant influence on the group was the political ideas of Karl Marx, though it might appear that the importance they give to imagination is in par with Romanticism. Some realists believe that Revelations that spur imagination into creativity could be found in everyday life. In the Surrealist Manifesto of 1924, Andre Britton wrote, I believe in the future resolution of these two states, which are dream and reality, into a sort of absolute reality or surreality. The primary question was how to get to the unconscious part of the mind, always controlled by the waking disciplined mind. With the aid of sedatives, some surrealists would play games that would bring the unknown subconscious to surface. Such methods were doomed to failure. Surrealists tried to create automatically to and thus be free of constraints of tradition like what the Dada artists have done 
and thus making a startling experience by depicting visuals at context which was hitherto unthought of. According to Freud, all our primal desires and fears are suppressed due to extreme control of society, the superego. So, mind will find a way out through displacement and transference or by substitution. Mind here uses poetry and metaphor in surplus resulting in the collapse of demarcating bridge between reality and dream. Surrealism was in search for this secret language of mind which they depicted by expressing dream images into art. Surrealism grew from its forerunner movement Dada which was anti-rational in its theory. Antri Britain who was an active Dadaist felt the need for a new group where artists could explore ways to make the subconscious a tool in revolutionizing art and to protest against the aggression of war. The primary surrealist organized activities as a refugee from the terrible political scenario and used art to address the discomfort they felt about world's uncertainties. Surrealists were interested in exposing the complex and repressed inner words of sexuality, desire and violence and interest in these topics fostered transgressive behavior. Many of the artists underwent psychoanalysis to study and uproot their latent feelings and habits as a cure for what they believed to be the constraining and repressed codes and morals of society. The surrealists generated creative works that exposed the artist's inner mind in bizarre, symbolic ways in order to uncover anxieties and to treat them analytically through visual means. The surrealists depicted dream imagery and archetypal symbols derived from their unconsciousness. The collage aesthetic was significant to the surrealists as they believed it taped into the subconscious by creating unlikely gesta positions using imagery garnered from popular culture. There are some major concepts associated with surreal theories which needs to be elaborated automatic writing and painting. Automatic writing or painting is a process of writing or painting without using the conscious intervention of the mind. During the surrealist movement, automatic writing was one among the many games played by artists to stimulate creativity and produce original works of art. Freud had already been using automatic writing as a therapeutic technique in psychoanalysis. Inspired by psychoanalysis and in particular by the poetry of Arthur Rimbaud and Lautermont, automatic writing consists in writing so fast that rational and preconceived ideas that occur in conscious mind do not have the time to impose any control. The first text produced by this method, Les Champs Magneticus in 1919 was composed alternately by Andrew Breton and Philippe Sopalt. Even earlier to surrealism, automatic drawing and painting had been attempted by Dada artist. Jean Up has produced numerous drawings and collages using the automatic process. Exquisite Corpse Exquisite Corpse is the most famous of the surrealist games. It made its entry into art circle in 1925 and consists in the creation of poems or drawing in large scale. Each artist in turn will write a word or draw a graphic on a paper which is not allowed by the other artists or poem composers to see. The result will be the most unsuspected sentences like the exquisite corpse will drink the new wine. It is from this line that this game received its name. The Calcomania Max Ernst and Oscar Dominics were the two main artists who very effectively practiced this technique. It had its birth in 1935. In this technique, the artist will press a white sheet over another sheet covered with color, 
Peel it while the paint is still wet and then repeat the process. The final image gives scope for the artist to see images that might be an expression of his unsuppressed subconscious. Fumage Wolfgang Palin, the Austrian painter, is the one who started this technique of creating art. This happened in 1937. He moved a candle flame over a sheet of paper to create an outline of an image. Later, this technique was applied to oil painting too. Wolfgang was the predecessor of the fire painting method later developed by artist Jess Klein. Collage This technique still very much in use in artworks, advertisements, print and visual media. It first appeared in synthetic cubist works and then Dadai's works. It appears in the works of Max Ernst in 1919. Max Ernst was a Dadaist before creating surrealist paintings. Collage uses myriad images from a variety of sources pasted upon a surface resulting in unexpected juxtapositions. From 1929, Ernest produced collage novels, selecting images from the 19th century prints and catalogues and made a connection by repeating the visual motifs many times or. Rhyograph Invented by artist Mandry in 1922, the procedure involved creating photographs without using camera by placing objects on a light-sensitive plate which is then exposed. Surrealist object By the mid-1920s, Antri Britton made a suggestion to fellow artists to create some of those objects we only glimpse in dreams and whose fate seems infinitely problematic and disturbing. But unlike Duchamp, who felt this as bringing together already existing objects which claimed to be of no value, the surrealist expected the new object to provoke an emotional reaction. The most famous artists who creatively used this technique were Alberto Gaiasometti, Salvador Dali, John Miro, Andre Breton, Oscar Dominics, and Man Ray. Frettage and Grettage Frettage is a method discovered by Max Ernst in 1925. This was an accidental discovery. While he was staying in an inn in Brittany, he decided to take an impression of the wooden rugged floor. This he achieved by rubbing black lead over a piece of paper, laying it on the floor. He repeated his experiments with other textures and published his first collection of frottages, Historie Naturally, in 1926. Also, he extended these experiments with oil painting. Grettage was used in 1927 by Max Ernst. Here, a razor blade is used to scratch the superimposed layer of different hued paints. The result is differently textured images capable of evocation of subconscious imagery. Paranoia Criticism As the name itself suggests, the paranoia criticism happens in a delirious state. The goal is to go beyond the paranoia of routine and habitual way of looking at things and reach a distal perception of reality. This idea was claimed to be developed and practiced Salvador Dali in 1929. Now let us familiarize ourselves with some of the major artworks by some of the significant artists of Surrealist school to get to know their approach better. Gayosho de Chirico portrayed Premonitore di Guillaume Apollinaire, Premonitory portrait of Guillaume Apollinaire in 1914. Max Ernst, Ubu Imperator, 1923. Mandre Leviolon, De Ingress, in 1924. John Miro, La Siste, De Sista, in 1925. And Drini Magritte, Quarelli des Universox, in early 1928. Salvador Dali, Lion, Cheval, 
Dormeyer's Invisible in 1930, Victor Bronner Loop Table, Wolf Table in 1939. Max Ernst, his paintings and collages create a dreamy quality. This was acquired by using spontaneous juxtapositions of materials and images and by methods such as decalcomania and frottage. His work showed deeply rooted personal experiences. One can see the two major concepts which paved the way to abstract. Expressionism had its seeds already sown in Max Ernest's paintings, action and automatism. Salvador Dali Stunning amalgamation of hyperrealism with a reverie like subject mainly of erotic nature is what makes Salvador Dali a Spanish painter stand out. Thanks to his associations with commercial ventures, difficult ideological attitude plus shockingly notorious personality, he was scorned by some of his contemporaries. He was even ousted from the Surrealist group, but he became the most popular among Surrealist painters. Deeply familiar with Freud's psychoanalytic theories and his obsession with erotic themes, childhood memories, death and decay made his works iconic in nature. Though he was inspired by automatism initially, he shifted later into his own method which he called critical paranoia. This is a method he used to tap the subconscious by developing deliberate delusion without losing sanity. Alberto Gaiasso Metti Semi-abstract works of Gaiasso Motis works are representative of themes like violence, sex and surrealism. He was the most famous among surrealist sculptors thanks to his towering and elongated surreal figures which is his best contribution to surreal movement. Fascinated by the themes derived Freudian psychoanalysis like sexuality, obsession and trauma, he developed a variety of different sculptural objects resembling primitive art, games, toys and architectural models. These sculptures actually urges viewers to interact with them, an idea that appeared radical that time. John Miro Influenced by Surrealism in 1920, Miro developed a style known as biomorphic abstraction. This technique blended abstract and figurative motifs, huge areas of color and primitive symbols. Conducting his own Surrealism inspired exploration, Miro has developed his own Surreal syntax where synthesized objects coming strictly from the Artist's imagination are juxtaposed with simple, recognizable forms. This object evoke a sense that they have always coexisted both in the material realm and in the shallow pictorial space of Miro's canvas. Miro had a pictorial style in which he used his pictorial icons like the sickle moon or a ladder. He resorted to surreal spontaneity and automatism to create works with lyrical abstract quality. Magritte Rain Magritte was master of the Freudian dream work method of association and unification of similar objects. Repetition was a key for Magritte. His interest in the idea of repetition may also have been sprouted up from Freudian psychoanalysis where repetition is a sign of trauma. Another influence must be his exposure to commercial art. Magritte's picture often result in powerful paradoxes. His images are clear and simple, but which also provoke unsettling subconscious longings. His childhood death experience connected with Eros resulted in images which show the Freudian surreal world of creative and death instinct. Marcel Duchamp Duchamp has coined the word ready-made which meant taking a mass-produced everyday object from its routine space and place in the status of artwork totally by artist's choice. It has the quality of performative act and had 
far-reaching implications about what can be considered as an object of art. Rejecting purely visual, which he termed as retinal pleasure, he favored more concept-oriented intellectual approaches in creating art. He experimented with kinetic devices as a study of perspective and optics. Subversive humor in rife with sexual puns resulting in enjoyment characterizes Duchamp's work. The linguistic dimension one perceives in his art paved way for conceptual art later. Mandry Mandry was an American artist in Paris whose photographs, objects, drawings and other works played an important role in Dada, Surrealism, modern photography and avant-grade art at large. Yes Tanguy Yes Tanguy was a French painter and one of the key figures of French Surrealism in the early 20th century. Tanguy was a self-taught painter who became best known for his highly imaginative landscapes and detailed precision. Pablo Picasso, though Picasso was not primarily connected to Cubism, he was made significant contribution to surrealist painting too. Known for his eclectic methods, Picasso chose to shift from one style to another. His encounter with surrealism in 1920 has encouraged him to experiment with new expressions which gave way to his suppressed subconscious during his cubist years. In later surrealist years, Britain became increasingly interested in revolutionary political activism. The result was the dispersal of the original movement into smaller factions of artists. There was a faction split. Britonians like Roberto Mata believed that art was political. Artists like Yastangi, Max Ernst and Dorothea Tanning remained in America to separate from Britain. Salvador Dali went back to Spain, believing in the centrality of the individual in art. Thus, the difference of stances they took eventually led to surrealism as a movement disappear. Though surrealism have disappeared as a group movement, it has its impact felt in many different walks of art. Primarily, it was an attempt to liberate imagination, so artists of all time are attracted to it in varying degrees. Surrealism was an epoch of its own kind in art and human history of expression. It is time we conclude the session. Bye.